up, you guys? So I recently had a question posed about, are there any regrets that I have while taking this PA path? And so I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I think it is definitely something that you should think about in terms of like where you wanna go in life and in your career. And you know, are you gonna seriously sit up here and regret it in the future? And so that is what this video is gonna be about. And you know, hopefully you can gain something from it and gain a little bit of insight to kind of make your decision on if this PA path is right for you. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about regret, but it's not gonna be like doom and gloom and sadness because really and truly, there is not much that I regret about taking this path to becoming a PA. And I don't know if you know you're like the type of regret that I'm gonna be talking about is what people would think or have in mind when really sitting up here and pondering like, is this the career for me? Because I haven't really, I haven't had those thoughts at all. I've never thought like, oh, you know, like is this the career that I should be in like while in it? Prior to getting into it, you know, the, the hustle and bustle and the grind of trying to get into PA school, I was like, Lord, is this really what you want from me? Like, am I just kind of doing my own thing or is this truly what you've called me to? Um, but while in it, and ever since being in it, I've never had that thought. So no, no regrets there. However, um, when it comes to my path to becoming a PA, there are some things that I really do regret. Uh, first and foremost is not kind of finding the path earlier. I had various different things in mind. Obviously, you know, you guys have heard my story, you know, that I wanted to be an OBGYN and possibly a neonatologist. And um, that is really kind of all that I had in mind initially. And that's kind of all you knew because like I told you, you know, being an island person, like the child of an islander and an islander myself you know it's like you're not successful or you're not succeeding if you're not like a lawyer or a doctor really and truly like that's it you know like that's all they know and so when it comes to your dreams as a little kid it's like oh i have to be one or two of these things but there's so much more out there in the world and obviously now people are getting onto it i mean like look you can be like a social media personality right and people are making big bucks doing that and so uh being a youtuber is now like an aspiration of people and so there is so much more beyond just lawyer and doctor and so me not realizing that sooner in my path to becoming a healthcare provider, I think it was definitely a regret um, that I I had because had I known about this wonderful, beautiful profession a lot sooner, um, I think my path would have been easier in terms of the direction because when you know like when you know your goal, um, then you can set a clear path to it, right? Like there's steps that you can make to and take to get to that. But uh, I took like the scenic route and so I had to kind of maneuver around some, you know, detours to kind of get to this path. Secondly, the next thing that I would say that I regret is not kind of being humble in this process, right? I originally wanted to be an OB and, you know, I I was a, like I said, I was I'm an islander, so I was an immigrant, I guess you could say, or an international student technically. And so um, my with my situation, I could really only apply to international schools. Uh, and so I got into some international medical schools, but that's really not the path that I wanted to take because I knew that it would be a little bit more difficult to like get into a residency program being an IMG, but you know, whatever. Um, I decided against going to those schools, but I was like, if I could get into the, the, you know, the med school, then why would I not be able to get into PA school? Um, and I was like sorely mistaken because again, like the prerequisites were similar, but not the same. And especially not the same for every school. Um, when it came to like figuring out science GPA versus just like overall GPA and all of that, like that was a struggle. Um, and honestly, like just being competitive because it was a little bit different, you know, for med school, my qualifications had to be like research and I did a lot of research, but I didn't do a lot of patient care experience, which was what they were requiring for PA school. And so me popping in and be like, oh, okay, well I can do this. You know, I got into med school so I could definitely 
definitely get into PA school and be a PA. That's nothing because you're just the assistant. And this is me just literally not understanding what PAs do, what the PA profession was all about. Just seeing like, oh, okay, this is like a nice career. You're still gonna be able to like see patients um, and make decent money and be able to help provide for your family. But you're really, you didn't do the research. And so I was not humble in the sense that I could now like go in and be uh, a good applicant. And so for me, that is also my regret, just kind of not not being able to, to be humble. Uh, Cause I definitely got humbled, <laughs> like really humbled um, while on this path. And you know, I, I thank God for it because it's, it's brought me out and made me a better person because of it. Um, but I would say those are really my two regrets. Apart from that, like I love this profession, you guys. Like I love what I'm doing now. I'm having a great time. I'm excited to go into work um, and see the babies and you know, just, get in there. Um, I think there are some things that I probably would have done a little bit differently in terms of just like the path with respect to like surgery and things like that. Like I'm very, I've always been pretty good with my hands, but maybe I would have done a little bit more surgical subspecialties as my electives because that is what I was gonna be doing with my career. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I think the path that I took and the path that like God had me on was the right path. Um, so really and truly like, no regrets in, in that sense. Um, this was definitely what I was meant to do and I am excited about that. Um, but from the regrets that I've had, like you know, coming up to it, I think those are the lessons that I've learned um, from that is to be humble and, and everything, obviously. Um, you know, don't think you like know it all, you're the best, you can do this because like God will humble you behind. And secondly, you know, truly um, kind of like plan out and do your research and figure out your goal. Uh, because when you know where you're going, uh, you're gonna be able to better plan. Um, the plans of the diligent lead to prosperity. You guys hear me say that a lot. Uh, so definitely plan diligently, do your research, you guys, um, and then you'll have very little regrets with respect to choosing your career path, um, your career, your specialty, uh, whatever it is you're trying to get into, okay? So hopefully this helps. Um, I don't know if it was the answer you were necessarily looking for, but those are really my two regrets. Uh, ultimately, while in this career, I don't have any regrets. So <laughs> did I say regrets? Regrets. Anyways, uh, but thank you so much for asking that question. If you guys have any other questions for me, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adama PA and on Instagram at Get That to University where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Um, and you guys, like I said before, we do mock interviews and we do personal statements and um, we do consultation sessions and this is for all things PA related and then personal statements is for just anything grad school related in general. So if you are like trying to apply to grad school or PA school or uh, and you need like help with your personal statement, we do that too. All right, so check us out, get that to university.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.